Good morning, folks. Today we have reason to revise our two most popular topics, the solar kill shot where the sun takes out global systems and damages the biosphere, and the Earth-Sun connection, the solar polar field's earthquake trigger. We'll also review the full solar sphere to forecast future events and wonder out loud just what the heck is happening in Oklahoma. For now, just enjoy the gorgeous plasma dancing into view on the eastern limb. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we did have some surface surges and minor pops up north, but the story here is all the thinner dark plasma filaments that could erupt at any time, and essentially without a flare warning. Peeking in a bit closer, there they are beginning to face Earth. Solar flaring remains indicative of a coming solar shutdown. The sunspots on the disk have some size, but some are departing after a silent week while another has come to the party alone and is beginning to wonder if he's got the right address. Kind of lonely around here. Solar wind? Yellow is the speed, and today the set-in coronal hole stream is easily noticeable. The lack of shockwave component combined with a gradual onset is letting the global field remain very calm, but localized disruptions can be seen like this level 2 storm in Karuna. The stream is from the departed coronal hole up north. The thin dark area here is the trailing extension of that opening. Since the north is weaker, the geomagnetic disruption is weaker and so are the earthquake upticks. Let's use this easily visible coronal hole structure to start our full disk analysis. Starting at the earth facing side of the sun, which has heliographic longitude zero here. Dark coronal hole easily visible as we turn to find the brightness from the incoming sunspot at negative 90. Lack of coronal holes until we hit the far side at 180. We see what recently left the disk near 90, and then we're back round to what's facing Earth. Top news today includes detection of frost on Mars from this past December. We're focused on the Hellas Basin and nearby areas and geological features. Next, we come to the second paper of the year to confirm that our star can produce super flares. Forget the Carrington event from 1859, something that would throw us back into the Stone Age if it happened today. But many super flares that were even stronger created the Charlemagne event in the 700s and another one 200 years later. Both would be a restart button for civilization and apparently our star can do even more. One expected each millennium, and we're at least 1.1 millennia since the last one. You can watch the Sun series at the bottom of the homepage of suspiciousobservers.org. Episode 6 specifically details what happens if we get a big one. We also got an update to the solar polar fields data. On the day Sumatra had a 7.9 earthquake earlier this month, the Sun's southern fields hit a new negative peak in magnetism, one not matched for nearly 15 years. If it proves to be a peak going forward, we can say that yet another major quake fits the forecast model developed last year. You can learn about the statistical examination of our daily observations performed by the Ohio State University Stats Group by clicking the link near the top of spaceweathernews.com. Folks, we've recently seen erroneous chemical readings, but we can't just ignore them all. Here we have carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide appearing to be spiking in Oklahoma. Eyes open for news releases about it with a reminder that sometimes these readings just don't reflect reality. Of course, we need to stick around here because winter is crushing this arbitrary start of spring date humans think is like a light switch every year. More snow coming for those areas already affected, even as severe storm watch crops up in Florida today. All the seasons, right here. For those who are new here, when you have the background information, the foundation, watching these daily videos takes on a completely new meaning. If you've recently become a website member and you haven't yet seen the Observing the Frontier section, you're playing poker with half a deck. Suspiciousobservers.org, click Premium, then click Observing the Frontier. Section 1 is considered vital information for observers. We've got pressure and radar across the globe. Earth spots and some wind at atmospheric layers followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.